welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> In today's video, I am so, so excited because we are gonna be making over a room in the house that we honestly, I'm trying to think, we have not even touched this room. We have not done anything to this room so far. It is exactly the same as how it was when we first moved in the house, which is very rare. If you've been watching for a while, we've been updating our home for like a year and a half at this point. But the powder room is getting a makeover. It's gonna look so good. I'm so excited. I have so many ideas in my mind. I I really want to keep it cohesive with the rest of the house obviously so it's going to be very modern but still classic and transitional and cozy and I think it's gonna turn out awesome at least the idea in my head is awesome and I have a feeling it's gonna be really good Rob and I are about to get started today so I want to keep this intro short and sweet and to the point you guys are really gonna enjoy this video I know you all love our transformation videos so I know you're gonna like this one if you want to see how we update our powder bathroom how we get it from just simple plain pretty basic to something beautiful and aesthetic then please just keep on watching but before we get into today's video I want to thank our sponsor every plate if you've been following for a while then you know that I worked with every plate and you guys their meals are still just as delicious I love this meal kit delivery service because it has America's best value as far as meal delivery services so not only are you gonna be saving a ton of money but you're also gonna be saving time because these meals that they offer take roughly around 20 to 25 minutes so in less than 30 minutes or around there you can have a delicious meal for your family there are tons of different options that you can choose from every single week there are 17 recipes but you have the option to switch out your protein your veggie your side to basically make it something that you know you're going to love and if you have picky eaters this is perfect because you can really kind of customize what meals are delivered to you so really all you have to do is order it sit back and relax it'll get delivered straight to your door we selected the veggie program and you guys it is so so good and so so affordable it's honestly equivalent to just having one cup of coffee but you get a full-on meal for your family so I will have everything listed down below you can check out every plate at everyplate.com and use code Carolinelle 179 because each meal is $1.79, which is such an amazing value. So you don't want to miss it. Check out my coupon code, check out every plate, sign up, get you some delicious meals. So yeah, you guys, with all of that being said, if you want to see how we spruce up, make over, completely transform our powder bathroom, then please just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so you want to talk about the most basic of basic bathrooms ever. There's really nothing like all that special about this. I mean, like it's fine. There's nothing wrong. It's just very, very simple. And I feel like we could do so much with this space. It's not that big. So I want to switch out the vanity, but I have to get one that's still pretty narrow that will fit up against this wall right here. Switch the mirror, switch this, switch the light. We're basically going to switch everything over here I don't have too much room over here to really play with but I do have a ton of wall space the ceilings are pretty tall in this bathroom which I'm glad about because we could get really really creative we've got a lot of blank space to work with and I think this is gonna be a good one so let's do some shopping Okay, you guys, so after I recorded that, I started brainstorming some ideas. So what I want to do is put beadboard on half of the wall, like the bottom half with some trim and paint it. I think that'll be a really nice touch in there. It'll kind of give it the effect of an accent wall without doing too much. Let's do it. Okay, you guys, so Rob had to legitimately rent one of the Home Depot trucks because our car was not gonna fit all that beadboard in there. So we're riding clean. I got so, the keys, baby. Okay, new whip, who this? Let's go, boo. Oh, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. All right, Rob. Okay, so our beadboard is in the back. We ready to go. Okay, so now it's later in the night. The truck has been returned. We are safe and sound. Beadboard is in the garage and it is time to pretty much take everything out of the bathroom, like the sink, the mirror, the hooks and things like that so we can really get started. Low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. 
Okay, you guys, so it is the next day and I wanted to show you what we picked up from Lowe's. You can literally see our <laughs> bathroom sink over there. I'm done, but we got this vanity here. Once it's unboxed, you'll see the full thing, but you can kind of see a little sneak peek right here. So it's very simple. It's got a marble top and it's white and I figured I could paint this, make it look really, not vintage, but kind of just like lived in a little bit more instead of just so like perfectly perfect. So we're gonna do some DIYing with this one and then we also got a bunch of beadboard. We're gonna do beadboard on the bottom half of the wall. We're also gonna paint it. We've got our trim. We've got, Rob, hold it up. What you oh, got? Yeah. It's our <laughs> sink faucet right here. Yes, it's gold and I think it's gonna look awesome with the black vanity, the beige beadboard. I think it's all gonna come together nicely. So, Rob, are you excited? Oh wait, Rob, show them what you also oh, got. Listen, y'all, hold, hold on. I'm really excited about this. So we got a Cobalt XTR. Okay. 24 volt. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Max brushless circular saw. I am really excited. I got to hold it in the store. Ooh. It was awesome. Okay. The actual so... tool itself is not that heavy. So if Kara <laughs> wanted to operate it, DIY whatever she wants to DIY, she could yeah. do that too. But this I'm going to is... DIY some stuff for the man cave with that for sure. We'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> but this is an awesome tool right here. You guys, do not come for me in the comments. I know I am painting in the living room with all that white furniture, all that nice furniture. It's pretty risky, but honestly, it was just such a small piece. Like, I didn't feel that scared. Everything turned out fine. I put down the tarp. I was careful. I made sure not to go crazy with the paint. It was very controlled, and it ended up working out. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like. Obviously, I'm not done. I have to go back over with like a second coat but I love the black. I think it instantly looks way more like expensive and classic. So I'm really excited about this. Looking good. Let's check on Rob in the garage. What's up everybody? We in the garage. It's time to cut down some beadboard for the bathroom. I've got my setup over here. Do not roast me. New tools will be coming in the future as we work on future builds and projects, but I just want to show you guys my process. So let's go. All right, y'all, let's get started. Put on the safety gear, fully charged battery into the circular saw like so. You guys, I'm telling you, Rob makes it look so easy, but trust me, off camera, this was our first time cutting beadboard, attaching beadboard, and it definitely took a while. It was some trial and error in there, but basically right now, he's just nail gunning it to the wall to keep it secure before we paint and do all the fun stuff. You guys, I am seriously loving the beadboard. I think it looks so good. But now Rob is adding the trim on top just to give it more of like a professional look and also to cover up the rough edges. Like I feel like the trim is key. The whole look is really gonna come together with this trim and I'm loving it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm hyped because it's on to painting. So the color we went with is Sherman. I always say Sherman. <laughs> Sherwin Williams Accessible Beige. You guys, it's such a great color. It's obviously very beigey, very creamy. In some lights, it almost looks like it kind of has like a mauve undertone. It's just so good. It's so beautiful. I actually saw this color on Instagram. Someone painted their trim this color, and I was like, I need to paint something this color. So <laughs> had to go with this one. Good morning, everyone. We are back in the bathroom, and today we're going to be touching up some areas that need a little bit of love and um, some more TLC. So let's uh, go ahead and do that, and then we'll continue on with the reno. Okay, you guys, so the lights are off and that's because we're gonna be working in the bathroom. You can see there's kind of like a effect going on. No, that's not something I added. That's this lantern. Where's the lantern? That's right here. Okay, we've got a lantern on because we turned off all the lights, but I wanted to show you the light fixture. You guys, this came in 
clutch. I ordered this light before we moved in and I totally forgot about it. And because we're pressed for time, this is gonna be the perfect addition because we already had it. And not only that, I think it's gonna be the perfect little vanity light above the mirror. So Rob's gonna install that. As you just saw, he has to use the lantern. It makes a weird effect on the camera. So I'm gonna try to get a couple clips on my phone, but then we're gonna move on to installing the vanity, the mirror, and all the good stuff. All right, y'all, as you can tell, I've gone ahead and moved the vanity into the bathroom, getting ready to hook up the sink because obviously right now there's nothing connecting it to the vanity itself. I've got the box with the care instructions inside of it. Let's hook this thing up together. Okay, you guys, the time has finally come. The bathroom is completely done. It's made over from top to bottom, and it looks incredible. If you are excited to see the bathroom, if you're ready to see the reveal, let's get a countdown in three, two, one. You guys, I absolutely love it. The lighting is very yellow, but it's fine. I feel like it's kind of moody anyway. I love the bathroom. I think it looks fantastic. As you can tell, the vanity turned out great. I love it. It's definitely a lot bigger than what we anticipated, but I still think it's a great size. I think it looks awesome. I guess I'll kind of just do like a walkthrough of everything that we did. Over here, we added a plant with a little stool. I will link the plant down below the stool is from Hobby Lobby I just felt like this corner needed a little bit of something as you can tell like the main statement of the bathroom is the beadboard and I think it looks incredible Rob did such a great job I absolutely love the color of it like everything about the beadboard looks fantastic we added this toilet paper holder over here we wanted to incorporate more gold to kind of go along with the sink I found this really cool I don't even know what shape this is kind of like a like an abstract oval type shape that I think looks incredible as well. It really matches with the beadboard. It's kind of like a silvery gold. This is a home goods find, so unfortunately I can't link it, but I will link as much as I can, try to find things that are similar if I can't find the exact item. And then over here, we just have a hand towel on this little hook. This hook is from Hobby Lobby. I just thought it was really cute, really simple. Wanted to add like a cute little towel on here love the color of this one again it's practical but it's still cute so I want to show you all like a close-up of the marble I think this is awesome it's the small little details like this because this is the same marble we have on our fireplace it just really complements the rest of the house as well so we just have a candle over here soap dispenser no soap in it yet but it's fine we're gonna get there and I really love the light fixture as well I think it looks awesome I feel like again that like silvery gold like aged brass color really complements the mirror which complements the sink and the faucet like everything really goes together our hardware that we added is also from Hobby Lobby I think it makes the vanity look way more high-end so yeah you guys this is the bathroom I think it looks awesome Rob did such a great job I love how everything came together I'll give you a little pan over really quickly before we end but if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. And we, me and this incredible powder bathroom makeover, we will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.